What's up? It's Raging Fury 555 from Quench Gaming bringing you another video. And we're going to be in Clash Royale today, and I'm going to showcase my deck. So let's go to our battle deck area and I use the cannon, the hog rider, the free spell, the bomb tower, the barbarians, um, arrows, musketeer, and goblins. Now I'm going to tell you why this deck is so good and how it got me to 1700 trophies. So basically the bomb tower is a really good defense that's splash damage and it can basically take out all the ground troops and it's really good at defending your side of the arena and the cannon got a buff the last update I'm pretty sure it was like 6 elixir before the um, update but now it's only 3 elixir so now it's really OP so you should use it and hog rider standard troop um, a lot of people use it and barbarians are really good and so forth and a lot of people don't know but the musketeers is also a good troop so basically the musketeer like you think it's not a good troop but then I place it on a lane by itself and then it does like a ton of damage and the enemy is like freaking out after so we're gonna look at some replays so the first replay we're gonna look at is against Jorge or George and we're gonna watch it so we're in the Royal Arena of course and you always want to play passively like um, how should I state it um, like don't use all your elixir at once so like for example um, you can use all your elixir but make sure you have a defense back at home like make sure you have a bomb tower or like at least a cannon back at home or not at home at your side of the arena because um, so then you don't get screwed basically if your attack goes wrong and then if it's a full force coming at you um, you're not screwed because you have your bomb tower guarding you and yeah so the arrows I will use them for minion hordes and you know big groups of um, troops with low level hit points and yeah so eventually I'm going to place a bomb tower down and you're going to see how OP that bomb tower is and more people are using the bomb tower now and it's, it's a really good defense and you should definitely use it. So I place it down and he's going to place some barbarians down and um, right here you'll be able to see how much damage my bomb tower does. So a little fireball doesn't destroy my bomb tower and look right here does tons of damage and those barbarians are gone and even though my other barbarians helped out it still did a lot of damage so basically I'm in the advantage now his crown tower is almost down mine has a little bit more hit points and things are looking pretty good for me and I placed down a hog rider and he's going to um, counter with some barbarians and barbarians are really good to counter hog riders but What's better is the cannon to counter the barbarians or the bomb tower. Bomb tower is your number one defense to counter hog riders. After that is cannon and then barbarians. And the reason why you don't, want to, you don't want to use any other troop like the spear goblins is it won't take out the hog rider fast enough and then you're screwed basically and the hog rider will heavily damage your tower. So right now it's basically a pretty intense battle right here and it's any anybody's game basically and we freeze above, uh, on top of each other and it's looking pretty intense right now and my musketeer does a lot of damage as you can see and it's really worth it if you use her so right here I have a full force going down here and see if you had like a bomb tower it could have taken out all those troops and he would have been saved so people really need to use the bomb tower now because it's a really good defense and you, ju you should just use it. It's a really good defense. And we're going to win the battle. And he was my level, so not an impressive win, but I'll show you even a better win. So as we go up on top here, um, 
I faced Rao from Brasikas and let's go watch the replay. And he's a level 8. Not a level 7, not a level 6, but a level 8. Big difference here. And level 8s I really struggle with because I'm a level 6. And basically when I see level 8, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to tie the game because I usually can't even win. Like I remember back when I was using a different deck, I couldn't even try to be at level 8 or even tie it, I would just get slaughtered. But here, um, I place my, I'm basically going all defense now, so I place my bomb tower down immediately to counter him and it's already looking pretty good, my hog rider got pretty far against his base, not his base, his crown tower and his crown tower is more than halfway down and he places down a hog rider and yeah, so my cannon and my bomb tower are going to do lots of work against him and I'm doing pretty well. His Witch causes a little bit of trouble for me, not too much. And because it's a level 4 Witch and you can't really do anything about that. And if you're a level 6, um, don't worry about it because it's not your fault you're facing a level 8. And level 8s have way better troops than us level 6. So yeah, I'm going to place in the Bomb Tower any minute, I'm pretty sure. Right about now, I'm pretty sure. I place the Bomb Tower. Okay. There we go. So I placed a bomb tower and it's looking pretty good. I have the advantage right now and I don't want to lose it. So I'm just playing very passively, um, keeping a lot of elixir in my bar, in my, you know, the bottom bar. So just in case if he comes at me with some like really big force, I'll have to bomb tower and I'll be able to play some other troop to defend. And sometimes the bomb tower itself won't get the job done, so you sometimes you want to place a cannon on the lane he's attacking. And there's another um, thing I want to talk about in this video. You always want to split up your troops. And you want to do this so you get him more worried, basically. So, like, he has to concentrate on both lanes, which is way harder than concentrating on one lane, so you can't spam your, like, cards or anything. You have to be more, like, precise and it works way better out for you if you're smart and you're able to play two lanes at the same time and keep your defense right so yeah um that's basically all the advice i have so basically you want to use a bomb tower all those good stuff and hog rider um hog rider you always want to use and free spell uh, Musketeer does a lot of damage, but the Musketeer is going to be nerfed, I'm pretty sure, pretty soon. It's going to be nerfed to like 25% less damage, but it's only going to cost 4 elixir, so it's not going to be a big um, difference. But yeah, so I have a full force go going down the right lane, and he's just going to get demolished, and there's no chance for him. And yeah, there you go. I won against a level 8 in um, Arena 6. So, um, yeah. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe as always. Leave a comment down below if the deck worked out for you, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.